Hi everyone, in this video, I am going to explain pivot table. What is pivot table? Pivot table is perhaps the most technologically sophisticated component in Excel. With only a few clicks, you can slice and dice a data table in dozens of different ways and produce just about any type of summary you can think of. Let's explain this with an example here. You have a table here where you have year, region, sales, person, product, quantity and sales and we want to incorporate a pivot table. The data comprise of 31 rows but we want to see very different views by using pivot table. Let's insert a pivot table. Click anywhere outside the table and go to insert tab. Click here pivot table. You see that automatically the table is selected. In some cases if the table is not selected you can again select them by dragging the columns from left to right. So in this case I will select the columns from A to F. After this you get an option where you want to place the pivot table. Either you can place it in a new worksheet where if you click this you will get this pivot table in a very different worksheet or if you want the pivot table in this worksheet where the data table is present you can click the existing worksheet. We will press here OK. We see that we have got a pivot table here. However, this pivot table is incomplete. To complete this we get here 4 areas. The left top is filters, the right top is column the left bottom is rows and the right bottom is summation values. I will explain all these boxes with different examples. Now suppose you want to get what is the sales across different year. So what we can do here is drag the year column from the top area to the left bottom area called row. We see here that we have got the different rows for different year. Now as we need the sales in the total value so we will drag the sales column and we'll put it in the summation values and we see that we have got the total sales of 2022, 2023 and 2024. Now suppose you want to see what is the different sales of different product across different years. So now we'll place the product from the top to the row section and we see here that we have got the different sales across different year for the different products. For example, keyboard sales is 2200 where the sales of each year is defined separately. Similarly, we have a different sale for laptop and similarly we have different sales for monitor and mouse. Now if you drag the product from the rows to column, you will see that the layout has changed where you have the year in the row column as we have placed here and you have the product in the column. So now the layout is very seamless and you can differentiate what is the sales of different products across different year. Suppose you have got a requirement now that you want to see the different year sales across different region and also you want to see that what is the sales of different product. So what we can do is drag the region from the top section to the row area and you see that you got a simplified result instantly by just a couple of clicks where you got the region as well as the different products across different year. Now if you want to change the layout in a tabular format where you want that the region should also be placed in different rows then what you need to do is right click the pivot table go to pivot table options you will get a pivot table options dialog box now go to display and here you see there is a checkbox for classic pivot table layout now click this checkbox and press ok you see that the layout has been changed and now the region is coming in different column now again you have got a requirement where you want that this region has to be repeated what you can do is right click a empty space within this pivot table and click free settings free settings dialog box will be open now go to layout and print and click this checkbox called repeat item labels and press ok you see that the region is being repeated across all the rows now suppose you want to remove the region total from this pivot table so you can do this very quickly just right click the total and uncheck here the subtotal region option. Instantly the region total will be removed. Let's add a different view here. Now you want to remove the total sales from here and you also want to remove the region from here. So what you can do is just drag the sum of sales back to the top section and drag the region to the top section here. And in this view you want the total quantity. So again you will drag the quantity from the top to the right bottom. And you see that you have got the total quantity of each of the product across every year. Either you can play around by using drag and drop or you can also uncheck or check the boxes here which is mentioned 
in the fields area here so for example here if you want to incorporate region just you can check this uh, region checkbox and you see here automatically the region is placed in the rows now if you want to drag it to some other section for example if you want to move it towards column you can put it in the columns bar here suppose you want to see the performance of only north region then what you can do is drag the region from the rows to filters then what you can do here is when you come here to the region you will see a drop down so when you click this drop down you will get a option of all the regions so now here as you need to select north just click the north region and press ok you see that we have got the data of only north now suppose you want to also add the sales here then you can drag and drop sales from the top and place it in the summation values we have seen here that we have only selected the rows or we have selected the columns which is already present in the table here now let's learn how to create a new column by using some formula so let's start with a new pivot table to insert a pivot table we'll go to insert tab we'll select the pivot table and we'll select this range we'll select existing worksheet and we'll press ok now let's have quantity and let's have sales we want to calculate revenue which is quantity into sales so let's create a new formula so to create a new formula we'll go to pivot table analyze tab and we'll select fields items and sets option here now here we see an option called calculated field we'll click here insert calculated field dialog box will be opened now let's create a formula here we'll delete this field one and we'll rename this output column as revenue and now we want to create a formula for this revenue so we'll delete the zero and in the formula space we will double click quantity and now we will enter multiply symbol the formula of revenue is quantity into sales so now we select sales field so we'll double click sales now we see that we have added a new calculated field which is called revenue and the formula of this revenue is quantity into sales where we have this quantity into sales in different columns in this table now we will press add and now we will press ok we see here that we have got a different column added here which is revenue and which is calculated by multiplying quantity into sales now the best part is that this new column revenue can be applied at any component in this data table for example we want to calculate what is the revenue across the product so now we can add the product by clicking this checkbox we see that we have got the keyboard laptop monitor and mouse quantity sales and we have also got the revenue column here now suppose if you want to filter year 2022 so we'll add year in the filters and we see here that we have got a drop down of year suppose we want to have a summary of 2023 and 2024 so what we can do is select multiple items and here we will uncheck 2022 and we'll uncheck the blanks and we'll press ok so here we see that we have got the sales quantity and revenue for keyboard laptop monitor and mouse for only year 2023 and 2024 now if you want to change the layout and if you want to see what is the earning or what is the quantity sales and revenue for each salesperson what you can do is uncheck the product and check the salesperson and you see that you have got the different metrics for all the salesperson here I will also explain how to refresh the pivot table. For example, you have got an update that Alice data for 2023 was not updated and you had 350 whereas the actual number was 3500. So when you add extra zero here, you see here that the data of Alice is not refreshed. It is still showing 6610. Now to refresh this pivot, what you need to do is go to pivot table analyze and click refresh. You see that instantly 6610 is changed to 9760. So instantly you can refresh the pivot by changing any values in the table. Now suppose you have a different requirement where you don't want sum of sales whereas you want average of sales. So how you can do is first let's remove quantity from here and let's remove revenue from here. And now we want to change the sum of sales to average of sales. So you see a drop down here. So when you select this drop down and you go to value field settings here you see that you have multiple options like sum count average max min and so on so now you can select here average and you can click ok so here the sum of sales will be changed to average of sales but you see that how quickly and instantly you are able to manipulate the data and see the summary using pivot table in excel